card number three the autopsy This is like a, the best evidence. It's like a storyboard, right? Little mini page comic book. So let's take a look at this. Very small, hopefully we get to see it well. There we go. Presential motorcade rolls on towards Dealey Plaza. Kennedy waves crowds. Lee Har Harvey Oswald takes his lunch breakfast while ignoring President President persistent thought of bad vibes. He's eating food numb. A shot rings out from the overpass, sort of, and hits school book depository where Oh the dog got hit. Cool. It ricochets and again uh, and again carums off, carums off collar of dog standing on grassy knoll. <laughs> Ricochet again hits uh, depository, knocks over Oswald's co cola. Angry, he he bats bullet out. window with his curtain rods bullet falls into midst of the motorcade motorcade bullet strikes kennedy's neck exits via his throat bullet continues on bullet tears through car seat and enters john conley's back angrily Bullet exits Connery and in pro process does triple <laughs> somersault with a twist. Feeling intense separation anxiety, Bullet re-enters Conley. Jeez. Passing through Conley's wrist, Bullet settles into his thigh. Anxiety and fidgety, Bullet jumps up and strikes Kennedy in the head. Bullet pushes Kennedy's brains into Jackie's hands and then disappears. Kennedy is rushed to hospital in critical condition. No bullet. Relax, I'm free, the bullet says. Bullet, bullet McCauley appears on stretcher with Kennedy. Bullet is unscathed. Kennedy dies magic bullet makes talk show circuits yeah. right and just a backup story regarding this this bullet story believe it or not is the official story and I happen to have a phenomenal history teacher in high school okay for one year I had this teacher and he ended up being the vice president of school um, I was in later on after I had left years later but when he was teaching us about the assassination of JFK okay he was in front of the class and he explained what the official story was regarding JFK's assassination and really did a number with this bullet he was very animated in front of class saying that the bullet went this way and then went this way went through the wrist it got into the thigh and did all this and blah 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 and he did it in a way which was mocking the original the story even though he had to cover it right years later on our 25th reunion for graduation okay i went up to him and i mentioned to him and this was a few years ago i mentioned to him that this story where he explained how the bullet was ricocheting everywhere and this one bullet was you know making multiple injuries and killing people right as it, as it made its way through two people right 
uh, I mentioned to him it was because of that story that I really went wait a second that can't happen and I realized that the assassination of John F. K. it was one of the I guess what do you call the red pill moments in my time uh, where I realized that there's more to it than the official story and of course there's more to all the stories than the official stories that the government's centralized power releases card number four crossfire oh wait a second the autopsy we read the front we didn't read the back what am i doing we almost almost forgot to read the back with chicho going on a rant or story time card number three the autopsy at Beth Bethista Naval Hospital, the autopsy was performed by Commander James Humes and two other naval doctors, none of them forensic pathologists. Their findings were in incompatible with the observation of the Parkland Hospital doctors. Parkland observed a three-inch hole in the back of the head, indicating the large exit hole of a frontal shot whereas Humes, whose first observation, according to FBI agents at the scene, was that there had been uh, surgery of the head area, described the head wound as a gaping hole towards the right front, as from a rear shot. Parkland saw a black wound below the right shoulder, back wound below the right shoulder, which Hume humes located in the neck more incredibly parkland observed an entrance wound in the throat where hume saw only a uh, trico trichotomy after being informed of this mistake the next day and without having followed the path of the bullet through the neck on orders from an unnamed general humes concluded that bullet had exited from the throat he then burned his preliminary autopsy notes. Hume's findings, coupled with a bullet found on a stretcher at Parkland, set the scene for what was later known as the magic bullet theory. Had the body been altered en route, the ornate presidential uh, casket was left unguarded on Air Force One, delayed before takeoff from Dallas while Lyndon Johnson on his own orders was sworn in as president and naval officers later said that Kennedy's body was brought to Bethesda in a body bag inside a cheap tin casket prior to arrival of the official entourage why wasn't the autopsy performed in Dallas Lyndon Johnson refused to leave without the president's widow who likewise refused to depart without her husband's body <laughs> 